this is me last bottle cap challenge video, I promise, until Jackie Chan joins in. But for now, it's all about Kendall Jenner on a jet ski. She's like, go, go, gadget leg. That is a very long leg. Her video is similar to Jason Statham's in many ways. It's about delicacy and precision. Look at this. The big toe hits the cap and bam, off it fucks. That is an absolute unit of a big toe. It is ruthless. The bottle never stood a chance. She says, can we go home now? It's taken 12 hours to shoot this video. Let's go. Here's another celebrity with too much spare time. It's Justin Bieber. He is only doing this to scare Tom Cruise. This is actually my new favourite one. He does a trick, sticks out his beer gut and just skims the lid. It is perfection. In fact, I wouldn't mind seeing the beer gut versus Kendall Jenner's big toe in the bottle cap challenge finals. Forget everything I just said. This doggo is clearly the winner. Hit the showers, everyone. This bloody trend is over. I like how even the dog thinks this is stupid. It's like, is that all you wanted me to do? You fucking weirdo. Oh, gymnastics, of course. All roads eventually lead to flippy shit on top of spinny shit. There's always someone who can do flippy and spinny shit in any scenario, and there's nothing the rest of us mortals can do about it. It's so unfair. Fuck me, stupid. I joked about Kendall Jenner's video taking 12 hours to film. Something like this would genuinely take 12 hours to film. There's no way you nail that first shot. Does, does, does no one have a job? Is unemployment that high at the moment? This fella is like, screw you all, I've got a bloody tank. The following images you're about to see may be distressing. Runaway water bottle! Oh, that was quite pleasant. I was expecting guts. Even fictional animated characters are getting involved. This is the Borderlands 3 bottle cap challenge. Nah, it's a disaster. I'd say it's quite realistic of how most videos end up and we don't see them because the participants choose not to upload. It's definitely what would happen if I tried it with another human. I reckon Steve Irwin's son Robert Irwin could give those gymnastics sheilas a run for their money. This is very graceful flippy spinny shit. He also manages to hand water the lawn under the trampoline. This legend is a dead set, top notch, multitasker, great dismount. What is our obsession with automating every single aspect of life? Can we leave the robots out of this? Just leave them out of it. I don't want to be racist towards them, but this was meant to be a human thing. First the robots steal our jobs, now they steal our viral internet challenges. Bullshit. Okay, I agree with Sansa Stark. Enough is enough. Stop this now.